and perhaps just assist the whole paradigm shift so that the, 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 the kind of mainstream medical sector can, can be open to these things so that we do know what the causes are and, and the diagnosis and how to treat it yes. and we can, there can be a the more joined up thinking oh, totally. in, in terms of healing. Totally. Yeah. And I can understand some doctors um, thinking, well, hang on a second, I've spent five years at medical school, mm. I've got all these years' experience, mm. or I've specialised in this. Mm. Well, what is this layman coming across here mm. and, and saying this? But the doctors I've met and spoken to and worked with, then they want the answers as well. Yes, they are. there are many many and increasing numbers of doctors who have got open open yeah. minds and want to see the perspective wide, more widely. Yes, mm. uh, and it's a bit combining their fantastic diagnostic mm. tools and their experience and their knowledge mm. and, and, and and bringing something else to, to the package really. Yeah. Uh, and uh, as I say, always about helping people step out of the fear, empower themselves and also for humanity. Yeah. Do we want to spend the rest of our life drugged up? Mm. Uh, and creating more and more symptoms because yeah. every pharmaceutical drug has symptoms, you know, has contraindications somewhere. Mm. And do we really want to spend the rest of our life like that, or do we want to achieve our full potential? And you know, bring it down to a really kind of down to earth level. Since I've met you, I just feel reassured that if ever I do get seriously ill, mm. that I've got a way to really deal with it that I trust and mm -hmm. that will, you know, perhaps be a complete alternative to some of the nastier ways of having to, to treat illnesses that we have to use nowadays. Yes, definitely. And because there's always a reason. Yeah. And it's finding the reason. Yeah. Uh, and that's what I get really excited mm -hmm. about, as you mentioned before. It's, yeah. it's like being an inner detective. Yes. And it's, it's fascinating. But having the information to, to be an inner detective. Yes, having, having that scientific kind of factual database. Mm. Um, I mean, for me, as someone who's always loved Louise Hay, You Can mm. Heal Your Life, where she gives kind of psychological and emotional connections with different mm. illnesses, or the shamanic way, I mean, or the, just the metaphysical interpretation of illness, mm -hmm. to, you know, that, that's intuitively always been there for me, but to put that together with something that's so kind of scientific and rigorous and um, complete yeah, um, is, yeah. is very exciting. It is, and for me, you know, especially for me, because I'm a black and white sort of person, yeah. even though I work through intuition and psychic and, yes. and whatever else and life experience, I'm really black and white. Mm. And I don't do woo-woo. Yes. And I don't do, yes. you know, and there's nothing wrong with woo-woo. <laughs> I just don't do it myself. Yeah. Um, and I used to go with a lovely girl who was totally Glastonbury woo-woo. Uh, and, and she came out with phrases and statements and I said, well, what does that mean? Mm. And I think with all of these things, everything, every, the woo-woo has, has a perspective that's of useful. Of course the, it has. the mainstream medical thing has a perspective yeah. that's useful. And it, it is absolutely about not being so um, threatened by each other. But, totally. all, all, you know, yeah. real intelligence is, is a willingness to ask questions and to not know and to explore. Uh, mm -hmm. Rather than to defend a position, you know that's something that will certainly that's what true wisdom is. It's mm -hmm. it's it's a, it's a willingness to be open rather than a, yeah. a you know a kind of system that keeps you closed. So uh, I th you know I think and that you know it's intrinsic to the whole perspective of German new medicine. It is about a holistic uh, understanding of who we are, what we are, and how we function, and where we go wrong, and how we can get ourselves back in full yeah. health again. Yeah, totally. And Dr. Hammer's really passionate about because he was mentored by some of the top psychology people in the world and uh, and in Germany. So I, and he was really passionate about getting inside your client's skin. Mm. And whatever therapy you choose to use, if you choose to use any, is your client's choice. Mm. So it's not about saying you have to do this or that. Yes. Uh, and this is why it goes back to the empowerment of the individual and to not fearing the treatment but to, totally. to relaxing and I mean it kind of reminds me of the approach that was brought to me when I when I had my child when I, and the kind of you know to, to be to be confident to to mm -hmm. trust my body mm -hmm. and yeah. um, and you know that was rare to find that but I did find that and actually ended up having an absolutely amazing natural birth with no pain. Wow. Um, intervention or anything like that Great. but the, the thing that was important was this trust mm -hmm. because when you're in a state of fear 
you just everything closes down and you can't you don't have access to your own natural kind of mechanisms to get well again yeah it's really hard because mm. the cell closes up yes. at the smallest level yeah yeah totally mm. and, and again this is about as practitioners and therapists and people like yourself that teach mm. meditation and work with people with life coaching and business skills and it, it's about working together mm. and it's about opening everything up there's no competition anymore mm. Mm. It's about working together to help each other. Collaboration, cooperation. Totally. Yeah. And I was very fortunate in the Isle of Man um, for many years where my best friend was a, a homeopath and another one was the naturopath. Mm. And, and when I work with clients, I'm saying, well, where are you coming from? Yes. As a naturopathic, from a naturopathic mm. perspective mm. on this specific illness. Mm. And where are you coming from from a homeopathic perspective? Yes, and, yes. and where are you coming from, you know? And weaving it all together. Yeah. yeah. And it gives you another little piece of the bigger picture. Mm. Um, which is really what it's all about. Mm. But for me, German New Medicine is a total foundation stone mm. of the future of healing yes. and medicine. I think that's. I think you just summed it up beautifully, actually. Mm. I think that's what really excites me. I can really mm. feel that it is mm. that sort of beginning of that new paradigm. Mm. Mm. And, and, and obviously... I'm excited, and even if I go with a new girl, then I have to remind myself: don't talk about German new medicine, <laughs> 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 you know, because I just like because the passion yeah, will yeah, consume you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've got to talk about normal things. So. Right. Well, thank you. That's great. It's been a pleasure, Shamadi. Mm -hmm. Thank you.